Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the old magic roundabout, we've got a Dinky Toys AEC flatbed lorry, British Road Services. This one, I've done the other one, the drop side one. Now we're going to do this one. It's not too bad a condition, but all the paint's faded and the back bed's all chipped and faded, so it needs doing. So we're going to do this one, give it a new paint job on the cab get it nice and nice and red as it should be okay so there we go as you watch this go around i just like to welcome any new friends of the channel welcome aboard and uh welcome back all the old friends of the channel thanks for sticking with me as usual thank you very much look forward to your comments at the end of each video all righty then Let's get it off the magic, get it on the bench, and we'll have a good look at it. Here we are then, I'm on the bench, let's have a look at this thing, shall we? I've already um, built the base, and uh, took them one or two bits off, and I'll ground the axles around, save a bit of time. This is the bottom piece, which is held on by this plate, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm not going to touch this, because it's clean, I'm going to clean the axle up. That's all I'm going to do, because it's not wrong with this. It's bare metal. It's clean. So is that. So I'm not going to touch that. Right. To get the trailer off, you press in the fuel tank there. Just there. You press that in like that. And it comes off. You see, I've done one of these before, actually. So um, if you go back, if you're not sure, it's there. Right, let's deal with the trailer. That's where this comes from. It was on like so. So the wheels spring on and off. Excuse the paint on my fingers. I've just been painting some of it. Um, right. Ground off the axle. These are a bit tight. That's why I didn't do it on camera. Um, I like to use uh, various amounts of different grinding to get these off. Right. So basically double axles, double wheels, so I say. So one, two, and then just pull them out like that. There we have. I'll keep them on there for now. They're just plain black, both sides, those inner ones. I'll keep them on there so I won't lose them. So that's basically your trailer. It's got a sticker on there. I think that sticker, yeah, I'll have to check with that. I think, I'm sure that's where it goes, I'm not sure. I've got new ones anyway. So there we go, so that's the trailer. Right, this bit. Two posts to drill out, one there and one there. But in order to get this base off, you have to take the back axle out first. So I've already done that. I've already ground that out. Like I said, to save time. Uh, so there you go, twin, twin wheels on the back. <laughs> Come on. I say save bloody time. So I didn't think it ain't coming out now. A bit tight that one, isn't it? Get it out somehow. Come on out, you bugger. I'll have to take a bit more off that then, when I... Excuse me a second when I try and... Just got a bit more off there. I thought I got it all off, but... Obviously not. Yeah, the paint's faded on this, so... That's one of the reasons why I'm painting it. Well, the front axle's coming off. There you go, get that out. That's the front axle. So we just get a bit of this off here. Might be enough. Will it be enough or won't it? Yeah. So let me pull that out. Put these back together again. So they don't get lost. I should measure these, make sure. I'll put them up this end, that way, up in my box. So I know which is front, which is back. Right, where are we? Where's my screwdriver? There it is. This should now come up. That's, that's a bit gone. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do. There you go. Get the plate up. That's your base plate there. That's your mechanism if you have a look. I'm holding it like this for myself for myself as well, so I'll look there for a second or two. Right. That's how your spring action works, if you look. Press that tank in. Let's just come down a bit. Let these come up a bit. But that's your action anyway, so we can now get that out. Susie, hopefully. Yeah, pull that out. Let's get this out first. Get the spring out. Get the spring out. And that should just lift off. That way. I'll hold that like that. And then this should just pop out that way. Okay, it's got a bit of muck on. Muck and dirt and rubbish on there in there. Gotta come out of a spider's nest, innit? Spiders. Yeah, I'll get that in there. Well, that's that. Now you've got to drill again to get this cab piece out, all right? That's what I have to do with that. So I'll, I'll, I've got to drill here, see if it'll work. Some of these you have to go down quite far on. Yeah. A bit more. Just a tad more. There you go. And that lifts off there then. And there's a little thing in there. You can lift it off like that. That's your base. Okay. That's where it goes in there. And there's not a lot of room. I have to cut a rivet down and put that in there. And then let's just tip that up. That's the interior. That's good that it's black. We'll keep it black. There's your window unit. Which is good. This it splinter in my finger that oh, it's a pain in the ass. could you see that there get that out later right and this one has got the cast radiator grill on it the one I did previous the drop side one had a sticker instead so this is the cast one and it's got dual dead lights okay so with the dual head lights, I don't know if they'll pop out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. If not, I'll try and drill from the back. Or I can put it in the caustic soda and that softens the glue on it. And they'll come out, as long as you make sure when you tip your caustic soda out that you haven't uh, left these behind. Now, I'll leave them in. For now, I can if you want to drill from behind. If you want to put a small drill bit in there and guesstimate where they are and drill them out that way, you can do that. That's been done. But what I've been tending to do lately is just uh, I'll put the cab in and uh, leave the caustic soda up to a certain depth, and then when it starts going off the boil a little bit. I'll put it in face down, it'll just soften that glue up and you can pull them out because they are glass, so they're not going to hurt. 
and they will polish up afterwards. But yeah, that's where the old sticker was down there. I've got new stickers somewhere. Don't know where they are. They're about somewhere. I got some the other day. Right, as you can see, the paint's faded. Right, yeah, then. So it's stripping time. That wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, the tyres. All the tyres are in good condition. So that's good. That's lucky. And they've got the uh, heavy duty stamped on the side. So that's good. These are die cast hubs. It's not plastic. So that's another bonus. Right. Right, this is the old uh, AEC. All cleaned up. Not too bad at all. I job get rid of some of the red off this thing. It was a bit harsh. Base, cab, pretty good condition. Yeah. So I'm going to do is mask this bit up here because I want it to be bare metal. And then we're going to get some primer on it. So primer and some paint. That's us out the paint. There we go. Nice red. This is Lous Lauser. <laughs> oh dear, it's Audi Laser Red. There you go. Non-metallic. That's it. It's, a, it's showing up bright on the camera, as you know. This is a bit of mask stuff. To get that bare metal, the plate. See right underneath there. Base plate. Semi-gloss black. Trailer in the white. So there you go. <laughs> so details. Let's have a look. Black grill we're going to go. Chrome around the outside. Uh, silver bumper. Orange indicators. There and there. And what else are we going to do? Door handles. The usual. So, I've got the silver. So what I'm going to do, oh, I'm also going to go, you see here, here, and these are the cleats to hold the ropes. And I'll do them in silver as well, just for something different to do. Oh, my chair can't get far enough forward. Right. So, we'll start with the, uh, with the bumper, with the um, silver around the grill. We will. I don't mind going on the inside because it's going to be black. But what I have done, and I just remembered, I forgot to bring my um, what's names? You know the uh, bifocal things, the magnifiers. They're down the house. And I forgot to bring them back up with me. So that's going to be a pain, isn't it? We'll do this one here anyway. We can see to do that. It's not a problem, eh? Not a problem. I hope everybody's doing okay. Well. It's that time again. It's soon be caravan time for me. I call it a caravan. It's not really a caravan. It's a it's a static caravan, as we call it in this country. That starts the first of March, and my missus insists we got to go on the first day, even if it's raining, freezing, doesn't matter. She likes to go and um, open it all up, air it all out, and uh, do what women do, you know what I mean. So just go around the outside edge of this grill. Mm. 
we will just a little tad of paint at a time Yeah. British Road Services. That's where this belongs to. It's a big old grill on this thing, you know. It's a lot better moulded than it is that horrible um, sticky thing they put in there. It was horrible, that was. That's just cheap and tacky, wasn't it? Cheap and tacky. Yeah, finish that off in a bit. I don't want to get too into uh, too close of details with that magnifiers on because I know what'll happen. I'll go outside the lines. All right, we'll do that for now. What we got? Five minutes. I'll just put a bit inside these headlights. I like to put a bit inside there before I put the jewels back in. Just gives it a bit more reflectability. Well, that's a good word, isn't it? Reflectability. Word of the day. That's it. Word of the day. Right, I'm we'll carrying on doing this then. I'll get back to you when we're all done. That's it, we're all painted, we're all detailed up, and we've got some uh, decals on the side, transfer decals, whatever. We'll deal with the trailer first, just plain white. It's got the, on the end board, long trailer at the bottom. I painted the cleats down the side. I put this in because I needed that in. I needed the glue to go off on that one. So that's all done. Ready to go. That's a bit I um, masked up. Put a bit of bling on the uh, tank there. That's all good to go. I want to put a little bit of silver on there because that goes through the front here. Got all the front radiator grill done. There's a little blue... Mark there, that represents the guy badge. Got the dual headlights back in. Indicators, side lights. And I've got the uh, truck hire Liverpool on there. So we're all good to go. That's where the silver bit there goes through. There, comes out there. So that's all good to go. And it's cold in the shed again this afternoon. This had time to go off, so it's pretty solid. So, whoops, the next step, oh, I'm using these tires again that I used for the Brinks map. I'll just show you. These are the original tires. They're all right, don't they? They're heavy duty. Tires, tread on them. They're virtually the same, the same height, but these newer ones that I'm using are slightly wider. As you can see. But they sit better. And they sit in the arches okay. So I've not had a problem with them. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. Thank you again. Nigel. Uh, what else have we done? That's it really. So now. What we're going to do now. So I've got the heater on. And I've 
got my blanket over my legs. It's still a bit chilly. It's been raining all yesterday and all today, and it's uh, quite windy and it's cold. We're having a cold spell at the minute. North of the country, we've got snow. Luckily, we don't get much snow down here because it's flat. Um, for some reason or another. So what was I going to do next? Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to paint these axles over. So I've got a lot of work to do here, and I've got to be as careful because I don't. Uh, there's not a lot of room putting these in here. I'll show you. There's not a lot of room for me to paint these over. So I have to be very careful. So I'm going to need to watch myself what I'm doing. As you can see, there's not a lot of room for me to get in there. And I've got a balance on the edge of a metal plate. As you can see, those wheels, those tyres fit all right on there. Plenty of room in the arches. I'm not saying these tyres fit on all of them. But now and again, you'd be able to get them on if they've got big enough arches. Okay. And I was a bit dubious because of double wheels, whether they'd be too wide, but they're not. They're okay. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these axles over on this one. I'm going to paint the axle over on the front of this one. I can do that. And then when I've done that, we'll come back and we'll assemble all this gubbins in here. Because I'll have that in first before I put this axle in. Okay, because that has to go in after the base plate's gone on. All right. So we'll come back to you when we're going to do all this in here. This is the important bit. The other bit's boring. Okay. Okay, that's a back axle on, peened over. Now with this one, I've got the front on as well. With this one, the cab, the interior, and it has to go in here before you put the base plate on. Okay. But what we, the most important thing is this mechanism here. So you've got your your bar. So make sure that cut out there is is facing like this down pop that in okay then you've got your spring goes over there excuse the dirty finger I've just been painting some I'm trying to do two I'm multitasking that's what I'm doing I'm multitasking I'm making use of the heater while I've got it on so there's your how you look at it like that. Now this gizmo here, you really want to push that across with your finger, like that, to get that in deep first, and then it's got to try and get in there and push down. It can be a bit tricky because it can pop out if you're not careful. There's a knacker doing it. You've got to get that in. Now, I've done it quite a few times. That's it, I think. That's it. So if you see a little cut out there, it's like an L shape. That's where it needs to be. So then you can operate like that. All right. Make sure it's down. Okay, so that's basically it. And then you put your cab on. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. So, excuse my French. Oh, I must have touched up my finger. Bloody silver paint on it. Oh. Right, I've got to clean that off, haven't I? Look at that. Idiot. Yeah, you put your cab on. Basically, you put your glass in, Ron. Drop your glass in. Oh, Naff me off that house now. I'm trying to be ever so careful. Drop your glass in. And your interior. Get it square so it sits in right. Come on. Like so. And then... Okay. You do that, and then you put your rivet in. I might as well do it now. I might as well got, we got it here. I wasn't going to do it, but I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it now. 
Now, I've got a variety of cut down rivets here simply because it'd be too long otherwise. So we'll put a drop of soot. Oh, you know, it's really put me off my stride now. That, that bit of paint on there. And it's bloody molotov and all. Which is not helping, is it? And get your get your rivet. Drop that in there. Okay. We'll let that go off. Then your base plate. Make sure you get it all the way around. We'll go on like so. If you two rivets. One there. It's a longer one, isn't it, of the two. This is the shortest one at the back. Right. I'm going to leave them set now. I'm going to put the axle back in and peen it over. And then we'll get it on the magic and we can see what we've done with it. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys AEC flatbed lorry, British Road Services. So, have a look at this, and now have a look at what we've done with it. Have a look at this. Alrighty then. Here we are, all done and dusted. Our Dinky Toys AEC flatbed truck and trailer or articulated trailer, or what you like to call it. All done, fresh paint job, a few extra details. Different set of tyres, which I think they sit quite nicely on here. So thank you again, Nigel. Yeah, blacked out radiator. Yeah, there's a few little scratches on the windscreen that I couldn't get out. They were quite deep, so it is what it is. Yeah, it's just all functioning. I mean, if I take it apart, I've got to mess about taking the camera off now but yeah it all works legs drop down and stuff you know as it is that drops down yeah well i hope you like this one look forward to your comments and we'll see you all again next week with another restoration okay no then well be happy whatever you're doing be lucky and enjoy yourselves and we'll see you all again next week. So, see you later then. Bye for now. Thanks.